As you mentioned, Northern. I know I own no right to this song, but I love the song. Changeable, unchangeable, God, reliable, reliable, God, only you can do what no man can do. Unchangeable, reliable, only you can do what no man can do. Unchangeable, unchangeable, God, reliable, reliable, God, only you can do what no man can do. Unchangeable, unchangeable, God, reliable, only you can do what no man can do. Hello, I'm Marie Mabot, your sister from another mother. I love you guys as you guys love me too. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel, Marie Fongwa Mabo 3. Don't forget to click on the notification button down, the notification button, so that any video I put on my channel on YouTube, click, you will just get the alert automatically. And don't forget to share. I love you guys so much. Today, we are to talk about doubt. You know, we as women, sometimes we have a lot of doubt in our hearts. But today, I want to clarify you something that the Lord God Almighty has overcome all those things for you. Jesus Christ himself opened his mouth in the book of John, chapter 16, verses 33. He said, trials will come, trouble will come. But I have overcome the world. So there is nothing to doubt about. You may be facing crisis in your home. You may be facing difficulties in your marriage. You may be thinking that this is just the end, the final situation for you and your husband. But watch me. Believe me that the Bible make it clear. He said that he has overcome the world. When your master has overcome something, it means that there is nothing that you should be afraid. We'll quickly go to the book of Mark, uh, to the book of James chapter 1 let's see what he's telling us about i will read i always tell you and i will always refer you back to the bible don't forget to read your bible don't forget to take your bible with you every time i'm always don't say i like this bible you know i love my bible i don't think i've created any bible but i love this bible wait 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 come to think of it I'm reading from the NIV Bible. So, any Bible that you're reading from is okay by me. I don't have any problem. But only thing that I will always refer you is go to your Bible. You know, as women, we don't need to doubt God. There are many things that God has done as a support to us. God is always there for us. Sometimes you may be facing trials in your home, temptation with your husband. Sometimes it's with your children. You will say, oh my God, what is really happening with me? Some people will say that, ah, you need to pray a lot. My sister, maybe what uh, you are praying is not sufficient. You need to go to to see you know those people now that they can give you things that is more than god more than the bible that you can read they will tell you that bible cannot save you but my dear jesus christ has overcome the world because he make it in the book of james from chapter one that you will face trials temptation and all those things they are the ones that will make you to be more mature in the lord they will make you to be more stronger in the lord my sister when you see thunder that wind passing in your home stand firm be strong in prayers because if those wind they don't pass in your home if those trials and temptation they don't come you will never be strong in faith and you will never know that you yourself you can taste your faith and that is where you will hear some people they say oh my god god exists there is god that can save me there is really god why because you hold on god you pray you know when you have trouble in your home, you know how you pray. You pray endlessly without ceasing. You pray without even doubting God at no point of minute. At no point of the time. That is, you pray sufficiently that even you yourself, you, you get tired and ask yourself that, what? Can I pray like this? Why? Because you see trouble. Trials. Problems. And those problems make you you go from one church to the other, but as a prayer woman, you will sit back home, hold yourself, call on God. 
let me tell there are some trouble that can make you you even think that you don't even live in this world it refer you back to the bible let me continue this is the uh, I'm, i will read from um, niv bible the book of james so anytime you have your bible don't even just bother always have your bible yesterday i wrote on my wall that every blessed day at least one chapter read one chapter in your bible you will see that it makes a change in your life that one chapter makes a big change in your life but you don't know it will refer to something that will come up there will say oh my god if i knew i remember one chapter and uh, one verse that i read in the book of james you know it's like that so let's go to the book of james chapter one we start from verses one <clears throat> james a servant of god and of the lord jesus christ to the 12 tribe scattered among the nations greetings verses two say trials and temptation consider it pure joy brought my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produce perseverance the testing of your faith produce perseverance because when you are passing through trials and temptation all those things they produce perseverance that you god has already overcome them in the book of john chapter 16 verses 33 he said he has overcome all those things for you when those things they are producing take your time